there. I changed out of my pajamas today so I could bring you episode three of Lockdown Cooking. I think we're in week five of self-isolation. I don't even know, I've lost track of time. But I've been really busy in the kitchen and that's pretty much what I'm doing every day to try to come up with things, to use up my food in my pantry and my refrigerator. So today, I'm hoping that you have all of these ingredients so you can follow along and make my beautiful wild salmon burgers. Um, this recipe is gonna differ a little bit than what I have on the blog because I, on the blog, I use fresh wild salmon. I don't have any right now, so I'm using instead some canned wild salmon and um, it's just as good. Um, we're gonna start with that. So here's what we do. We have a can and on the blog um, it's gonna be more, there's more ingredients, more measurements, more things like that because it's gonna make more than a couple patties. But it's just my husband and I right now so I drained this can of tuna and it's okay I mean, I'm sorry, not tuna. It's salmon. What am I talking about? Um, it's okay to have those bones in there. They're actually really good for you. And they're so fine. You just crunch on them. You don't even know they're there. Okay, next, I have chopped up some, scallop, uh, some shallots. And we're going to throw those in there. And I'm not going to use that many. I'm going to use uh, maybe a tablespoon of shallots. And I also have some chopped fresh garlic. There's nothing better than garlic, in my opinion. The more, the merrier. And we're also gonna use a little bit of mayo. I've got about a tablespoon is all you need probably for this smaller portion. And that's, that's gonna help bind the burgers together. And then for the crunchy aspect of it. I've got some panko breadcrumbs. I love panko. It gives it such a nice texture and it helps to bind. And I got mine at Trader Joe's, but um, I've also used gluten-free before. Uh, use whatever you have in your pantry or whatever you like, really. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna put in is some ginger, fresh ginger. Um, I, little tip, I like to keep my ginger in the freezer because it stays a lot longer, it doesn't get moldy, and it's really easy to grate frozen ginger. And I can, you can even keep the skin on. They say peel it off, but sometimes I don't, and it's okay. So, you can see how fine it comes out when you're doing it like this. And I'm gonna do about a tablespoon. It's gonna give it a really bright, bright flavor. Look, and there we go. And I'm gonna throw that in with everything else. Okay, half the lime, juiced. I love this little gadget my daughter gave me many years ago. It's the best, since I just sprayed myself in the face. But that's okay. Okay, then we're also gonna use some sambal leek. Now, sambal leek is a red chili paste that looks like this in the jar. It's real easy to find these days, so um, I'm gonna put a tablespoon, and that gives it a really nice kick. I love heat, so the more the merrier for me. And then lastly, I've got some fresh mint, and I've got some fresh cilantro. So, I'm gonna just chop it up pretty finely throw it in. There's our mint. This gives it a lot of brightness. I love cilantro. Cilantro is one of those herbs that you either love or you don't. And I know people who won't eat it, but I, I don't know why. I love it. Okay, here we go. That is it, people. So now we're just going to mix it all together before we form some patties. And then we are just going to make room here. And we're going to get 
get ready to put our burgers on. And we are going to pan fry the burgers. I, um, I love doing it in my cast iron. I've been using a cast iron for everything these days. Uh, but I have baked them in the oven. I put them on the grill outside. I've used them on a grill pan. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. There we go. So you can see we're ready to get it on the stove in my cast iron pan. So we're gonna take a break because I have to heat the pan and then I'll show you what happens next. So now's the fun part. We get to fry up these salmon burgers on the stove. Um, I've got some canola oil. I put it over medium high heat and we're just gonna lay these burgers in my cast iron pan for about four minutes on each side. We want to get them golden brown. If that's a baby, we're going to leave that one. So, I love my cast iron. I think I've been using it every night to cook, seems like. Um, this one is a hand-me-down from my family. These last forever if you take care of it. And they're really not hard to care for, but what you don't want to ever do is wash it in soap and water. That's the worst thing. It takes that, all the seasoning off and it can rust. And you want to always make sure that you keep some oil on it um, when you're not using it so it doesn't rust. So as you can see, we are getting some splatter here, but that's a good sign. You can tell it's browning up nicely on the other side. salmon burgers are ready. So I have some whole wheat buns. I actually sometimes don't even use a bun, but we are going to assemble something really pretty here. So we've got our pretty burger, how nice. And I had made, for toppings, I had made these pickled uh, vegetables the other day, which are oh, so good on top of this. So what it is, is uh, white and red cabbage, some jalapenos, some red onions, and you just um, pickle it with, uh, I did apple cider vinegar, water, and sugar, and you put them in these mason jars and let them sit, and oh, so good. And so good on salads and everything else. We put them on our tacos last night, and today we're gonna use them on the salmon burgers. So, here we go. I think before I'm gonna do that though, I have, um, a little mixture of sambal oli and mayonnaise. I'm gonna do a little aioli that's gonna have a really nice kick to it. And I'm just gonna mix that up with a whisk until it's well combined. If you don't like heat, um, you know, create your own aioli, maybe a garlic aioli, a lemon aioli, and um, maybe just some mayonnaise. Just depends what you like. So we're gonna just spread a little bit of this on top. Look how pretty. I also use this aioli as a dip for like sweet potato fries and things like that. So, so good. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna use a little of slaw that I made. Beautiful color. Oh boy, look at that. Very yummy. There's that jalapeno I was looking for. And last but not least, I'm gonna cut up this avocado because who doesn't love avocado on a burger? It's gonna be outstanding. There we go. Scoop it out. Wow, that is a gorgeous avocado. You never know until you break into it. Slice it up. Slices, oops, on top. There it is, look at that. 
Okay. Assemble it. I'm going to, of course, you gotta have pickles on the side. I'm a pickle freak. Love my pickles. Look at those cute little baby pickles. And burgers gotta go with chips. Chips and fries. Get some chips. And here's the test. Wild salmon burger. Mm. Really good. Really good. Now my mouth is full, but you can get this recipe on my blog at asiancaucasian.com and search wild salmon burgers. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay inside. See you next time.